two federal lawsuits brought against the village of New Miami have little to do with its insurance problems. At least that's what one village leader says. As we first reported yesterday, insurance issues are keeping workers out of their village vehicles, and that includes police officers. Local 12's Larry Davis joins us live from New Miami with some new developments. Larry. Hi, Curtis. Well, of the two federal lawsuits that you mentioned that have, were, have been filed against the village of New Miami, one was settled just a few weeks ago and one is currently pending. But village officials say that they have very little impact on the fact that the village has very little insurance coverage and whether or not officers are still on the street. New Miami Police Chief Kenneth Cheek was back in his cruiser and back on the streets today. For nearly two weeks, the cruisers have been parked at the police station. Issues regarding insurance coverage forced the village to park all department vehicles. Village attorney Dennis Adams told Local 12 News by telephone today the insurance was not renewed by the Ohio Government Risk Management Plan because of too many claims. He says the $42,000 settlement of a federal lawsuit involving the police department was a small percentage of those claims. In that suit, a man claimed that he was viciously tackled and punched by Officer Tyrone Sims during an arrest. The chief was also named in that suit. My personal opinion is those were frivolous lawsuits that, that were filed, and um, myself nor my officers have been found liable for anything that was said in those lawsuits. And I done none of none of what they said I done in those lawsuits. Chief Cheek says only a few thousand dollars more in claims have been made against the police department. The village alone paid a quarter of a million dollars in a settlement in connection with a car crash at this new Miami intersection. The insurance company also paid thousands of dollars in attorney fees in representing a former village official. In the meantime, the Butler County Sheriff's Office will assist in patrolling the streets of New Miami. Chief Cheek says he's not concerned about the future of his department. He says council is understanding and he hopes that residents are too. I think most of the residents also will understand what the situation is and they're not going to, you know, you're always going to have those who will doubt your police department and that's just part of being a police officer. Um, but I don't believe that most of our residents will. And if they do, I wish they would come and see me about it so I can explain things to them. And Curtis, the chief says the village of New Miami is self-insured, but he says that they would like to have some additional insurance coverage. That's why they're currently looking for another policy. And uh, the, it is covered, they have been covered by the Ohio plan, but the representatives with that company did not return our phone calls. Live in New Miami, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Curtis, back to you. Larry, thank you. New Miami's police chief says he hopes the village will be able to get more insurance coverage by early next week. That would allow his 22 part-time officers to resume patrolling in their cruisers.